Scorpio, it's Mary Jo. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching and sharing and commenting. I'm really happy to hear from you all and happy solar return <clears throat> to Scorpio. I'm doing your November 2019 reading. Okay, so we have Neptune going direct the 27th. So with all this direct energy, it's great for lifting the veil of the illusion and delusion we've been experiencing in our lives and going forward. <clears throat> You know, taking off the rose-colored glasses. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. And you know, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always look to your rising sign. Okay, Eight of Air. We did have this in one of the earlier readings. So this is our Eight of Swords. So we're talking about mental clarity here. And um, <clears throat> let me just see this. Hmm. Okay, so there's something that's been going on that's, mentally getting to you. I mean, really getting to you. You're uneasy with this. You have to be careful not to expand on that, all right? Putting your thoughts too much into something that's negative, the universe will reverberate more of same to you. It's best you rise above this situation, looking at it from a different perspective. As you see our angels in the clouds, she's above the earth between worlds, so she has a different perspective in viewing this situation differently. There's a lot of knowledge. You need to learn a lot more with this situation. Maybe everything is not clear to you because you're in it. You know, you're down in it. You're not really seeing it as it is. Your emotions may be getting the way or your mind is playing tricks on you. This typically is the Eight of Swords would mean that you are being held prisoner. And it's prisoner of your own thoughts. Now we see she doesn't have her hands bound or her eyes blindfolded. So she can free herself at any time. She could fly from this situation, but she's focused on it. So I'm going to tell you, some of you, you want to focus on this, but you need to step away from it. You need to step away from this somehow. Talk to other people. Do a little getaway for an hour and just sit and think about it possibilities prey on it because where you are right now you're not thinking clearly and your mind is creating things uh, Scorpio that isn't necessarily true can can you imagine that if you that person can can you see uh, okay this is something's happening in my life and these people are thinking this about me but this isn't what's really happening you know what I mean it's like that if you could view it that way give this person or situation time for the truth to be revealed. Like I said, Neptune's going direct the 27th, okay? So you want to be very careful and let the rose-colored glasses thing that you're looking through, that fantasy, illusion, delusion, be lifted before you go forward. And I know you can do that, Scorpio, because you usually watch, look, listen, and learn, you know, before you sting. But you're under a great deal of stress right now, they're saying. You're having a lot of things on your plate that are more than you can handle. You're trying to put your energies to many different people or things, and you're drained and tired, so you're not able to focus clearly on the reality of what's going on about you. So, you know, when they say you get hangry, you know, you're angry because you're hungry, or it could be you're tired. You don't feel good. <clears throat> There's something going on that you're not in complete homeostasis right now. So you are seeing this in a light that is not true. So let the feathers fall where they may. Watch. Okay? Yeah, she's watching. You know, her emotions are peeling away. The feathers are flying. Let all those thoughts and words go to ground. You listen to everything that's going on. You take it all in, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, that's very Scorpio, too. Your eyes piercing, knowing. You watch across the room. You, you gaze at everyone in that room, and you have divulged their secrets just in watching them and listening. That's very Scorpionic, because you are a mystical house, the second one. You dive to the deep darkness, the psyche of people. So 
in this position, I like it, where you can free yourself from your misery by just focusing on what's happening around you and learning from the experience right now with this person or thing. And the time will come for you to realize what the truth is, but it's not now. And you can free yourself from this misery, distract yourself with something else. Oh, beautiful, the messenger of water. Okay, so here we are. She's in the depths of herself. All right, she's really thinking things through. She's, she's trying to figure things out. Spirit's there to guide her. There's someone you can be talking to right now, whether it's a counselor, a friend, a family member. Um, even if, like, I talk to my angels all the time, you know, you could talk to your angels and guides. Now, you see how she has this gorgeous crown on her head? And the crown is, is reminiscent of a, um, a conduit for guidance from spirit to come down, especially gold is a conductor. So it would bring all the wisdom from the heavens, from God to this person. I see this Nautilus shape, the Fibonacci sequence, you know, in that shell. I see that the order of the universe is taking place. There's a pattern going on, Scorpio, for you. What is this pattern? All right, is it a pattern that is repeating itself in an unhealthy way for you? Or is it a pattern that you need to start to follow knowing everything has an order to create this strong, solid, sacred geometry in your life? Now, water is the cups, but it's our emotions. You are a water sign. So when we have messenger of water it's saying, the clarity and messages you need to heal yourself emotionally are coming. Maybe you didn't get all the information and this is it. This is what I was saying before. You will be getting the truth of the situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. It will be very healing for you. I'm going to look to the book. I haven't done it, but since it's your solar return, I want to give you some peace with this, with the messenger of water. And I'm using the good tarot. All right, these are oracle cards. So she gives very positive affirmations. That's what I like to do with all readings. Give you something positive. And we know with the messenger, this is our, like the knight, okay? So he takes action. So the messenger of water is romantic attraction, chivalry, admiration, seeking the best in others, heightened emotional awareness, a call to fall in love with yourself. And she says, I need to look for the best in others and honor it even when it seems a challenge to do so. My attractions stem from self-love and a knowledge that I am part of all love, which takes many forms, each exquisite in its own way. I can have what I desire. There is no need for jealousy, anger, resentment, or fear when I am love and love flows into me powerfully. So here, we, that would block, you know, when we get our, our, this is, you remember, the air is your thoughts and words. And you're prisoner to it. So jealousy, rage, suspicion, doubt, fear. This is all those things. With this card, it's saying you don't need to focus on those things. It's none of your business what other people think, what they're saying. You need to focus on yourself and love yourself. And when you fall in love with yourself, Scorpio, and you love who you are with people and what you're doing, your energy is so radiant that you can't help but attract people with that frequency to you and that they love you. But these are equal resonant vibrations. So for you, it's more important to let go of the in-your-head stuff. Focus on what you are, the emotional, loving, in, um, inside reflection. You know what I mean? Being still and calm like the water, but reflective at this time. Um, and then you could take your action to love yourself and heal yourself and recognize this person or place a situation, whether they did something that was positive or not in your life, you can release it and let it go. Send them light and love because that's going to reverberate back to you 10 times. And you're taking the action for love in this instance, okay? Loving yourself. And for some of you, it could be the end of your misery that this person comes into your life or there's a healing with the person who is giving you a hard time, whether it's a lover or a friend or family member. This could be the clearing away for some of you that you actually uh, find out what really was going on and you can heal that because with water too, that's a very healing energy. Look, Major Arcana, the Hierophant. This is Taurus, and guess what? Taurus is your polar opposite, okay? That's the half year for you of your birth year on your solar return, then six months later, and that would be Taurus. 
So this is old paradigms, old dogmas, you know, hierarchy and the way you were raised and beliefs and traditions. And they may not serve you. And the way that you're living your life according to other people's traditions, people that are dead who set these traditions, why do you even have to follow them? It's pressure. You don't need that. You long to be free and do the things you want to do. Like maybe you don't want to go to mass every Sunday or maybe you don't want to have Thanksgiving at so-and-so's house. This is you wanting to do what you want to do in your life. And this is practicing your own belief system. See, she has in before her all of uh, the tools of her trade, the things that she loves, that she's empowered by, okay? She's got this moon energy. She's got the golden aura of the sun and and the conduit of energy. She's got this stone altar in front of her, a solid foundation she has built. And there's your chalice, your cup of water. So Scorpio, the light, that would be the flame for our uh, fire signs, the air for our air signs, and earth for our earth signs. So all the elements are before her, but she finds a balance with them. So for you, and look how focused and determined she is. She's at peace because she's doing what's best for her in her life. Now, she's not hurting anyone here. There's no disrespect shown, no negating, but realizing that old person or that old paradigm or old dogma is not serving me. I can respect it even if I don't want to love it and practice it. So whatever is going on with these people are telling you, you shouldn't move in with him. You should wait till you have a ring on your finger. Don't buy a house yet until you're married. Um, don't take that job far away. You have nobody to be there. You'll be all by yourself. You know, all that negative talk, the naysayers, the fear-based things that we don't need, that you need to rise above, go to the depths of yourself, loving yourself and trusting yourself, and taking action for yourself. And again, looking to the past, right? and healing from it, what worked for me, what didn't work for me. Staying balanced right now, that's the five. So that you're open to the future without anxiety because you know you're loving yourself and living your life in the practice that is best for you with yourself, your loved ones, your family, your job. And it takes a long time to do this, Scorpio. And many people are breaking out now because the world has gone so cray cray that people are starting to free themselves from the agony, the trauma, and the pain that is going on around them because they know it will kill them emotionally or spiritually, sometimes physically, and definitely mentally. And you want to break free from that. So that's earth, air, and water. Look at that. You have three of the elements working for you, starting your solar return. This card also came up for someone, the beautiful queen of air. I liken this to you where you go from this to this. Because this energy where you were in your head and maybe not in the best place what you were thinking about this person and situation, she's come out of it. Breath of fresh air. She's breathed new life into this. The wisdom spirit is always there with you. Always there with you. But here is the wisdom and clarity that you needed to gain. Again with this white. Like here she's got this white. This is a purging. A new beginning. The queen breathes life into the king's ideas. All the queens represent the um, water, which is emotion, but she embodies air. So it's your heart and your mind. And you know when they go against each other, ay, it's a battle. And you work in your heart center, Scorpio, you want healing. So for this, I say, this is the energy you'll be taking on of clarity, the epiphany, wisdom, focused, you're direct, you're not mincing words. Be very careful though not to be cruel. If you're gonna speak your piece to this person or about the situation, do it logically like Mrs. Spock, okay? Without emotion here, well, Mrs. Spock was human, right? But she had emotion, but she kept it in check. So we want you to emulate that energy of someone who has all the facts, is methodical about this, loving and caring, kind and fair in your dealings with the situation or person that they could look up to you and say, well, you know, she's not saying anything mean. She's not slicing me with her words with sarcasm. But she's saying the facts, whether I like it or not. She's telling me how she feels clearly, and I can relate to that. Again, whether I like it or not, I'm saying that you speak clearly without hurting anyone. 
and you'll be seen as someone who's very wise and mature for your actions, male or female. There's also could be someone who's in your life, someone you will be involved with a person like this who is our um, Gemini or our um, Libra or Aquarius. And he or she could be coming into your life with a fresh breath of air, cleansing this information, giving you the truth of the situation and the matter, helping you through what you'll be going through and growing through. This could be a wise kind of matriarch figure, a mother and mother figure, even if it's a man, someone who's very loving but clear-headed and has um, a delicate sensibility about them. You know, they could be a little aloof, all right, and you think, well, they're not interested. They are, and they do care, but they keep everything in check. Let me see if I have anything else. Again, all blue here. You're learning a lot, Scorpio. You're really going through a lot in this phase for you starting may have started three months ago before your solar return energy because that does happen but definitely it's the beginning of a lot of clarity for you and working through emotions and uh, old paradigms that you need to just dump that aren't working for you the way you're raising your children living your life working this is your life it's no one else's everybody else's is taken so live your own okay and she seems very pleased indeed very happy very wise and knowing look how close spirit is against right up above her cheek this wise owl that she's very bonded to even her feathers she's like them so in spirit you have someone who's like you guiding you and you could always ask and talk to them for help and as you're asking in your mind you're out loud when you get that answer before you finish asking your question scorpio that's inspired thought that is spirit answering you and guiding you so no, you're not alone. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Happy solar return. If you celebrate Thanksgiving in the Americas, happy Thanksgiving. If not, just have a great November. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next month. And as always, I wish you the best.